So hey guys, I'm Dana from Pitch List Podcast and we're here right now with Gone West. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Awesome, thanks for asking. So welcome to Pitch List, thank you for being on. Um, if you wanna just go around and introduce yourselves first off and say you know, what you do in the band. My name is Justin Kavika Young and I'm the mediator. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. He also sings and plays guitar. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Colby Kelly and I sing. My name is Nellie Joy, and I'm the interpretive dancer. <laughs> she also plays guitar and sings. <laughs> and I am Jason Reeves, and I play guitar and sing. And awesome. <laughs> and I find Nellie's phone every 15 minutes. That's the main. That's, that's your main role. That's actually my only job. <laughs> so. really why you're in the, band. the rest <laughs> is a hologram. I don't go on tour. Right. <laughs> So, is this your guys' first CMA Fest as a group right now? It is, yeah. How does that feel? You're about to play on Sunday at the Riverfront stage, is that right? Yeah, yeah we're excited. You know, we've been working on the record for the past couple years, mm -hmm. and now we're finally getting to go out and do shows. We have our own headlining shows this summer, but this is our Incredible. first time doing CMA Fest. Nellie's done it before, um, back uh, a few years ago with uh, Jane Deere Girls, so yeah. it's her. Awesome. She's experienced it I'm back. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so I mean, you just touched upon this, but you're all from separate creative backgrounds, so how did the group actually form like how did you guys start working together well it really goes back 14 years um when jason and i met in 2005 and we wrote my first album coco together wow okay and uh, so we've worked together ever since and justin uh joined my band in 2007 and then a couple years into it we fell in love and we're still together and uh, nelly and jason met here in nashville in a writing session uh, when she was in the jane deere girls and then well he fell in love with her first and then <laughs> and then they just give me the dirt <laughs> <laughs> and now they've uh well i'm just stating the facts <laughs> but now they're married seven years and so we've all known each other worked together and uh and written together for so long and a couple years ago justin and i moved here and we did a tour together the four of us and that was really the first thing that sparked us getting to travel together and be four part harmony and so we got back to Nashville and then had a writing session so that was like the backstory of it. I love that I love how you know you guys all like crossed paths at some point and then came yeah. to be you know as a group right now. Um, so we love to talk about songwriting here on Pitchless so I'm curious you guys have a song called Gone West your group is called Gone West mm -hmm. so I would love to know what's special about that phrase for you guys personally each um, why are you connected to it? Yeah, I mean, it. when we came up with that name, it was one that we all ag agreed upon for the band really quickly. Um, mm -hmm. It just felt right. So we're all from west of Nashville, um, Hawaii, California, Texas, and Iowa. So when we're not here, we've usually gone west back to our home states. Right. Um, so that's sort of the, the origin of the name of the band. And then we thought, hey, let's write a song sure. that kind of explains that. And, um, and we wrote all our songs. We write all our songs together, but this one we wrote. Uh, in a unique way because we split up and we wrote each verse separately for our person about going to oh their hometown um, and bringing back the best that it had to offer back to Nashville. So I love that yeah. so much. <laughs> so each verse is kind of a love letter, as Jason says, to our person. And then we had to like play it for them and hope they liked it. Sure. <laughs> That's incredible. I feel like I've never heard of a song being written that way. It's probably unique. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've never done that before. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. a first for us too. That's awesome. Um, so another songwriting question for you guys. So we recently got to talk to Liz Rose on the podcast. She's incredible. And she talked a little bit about the song that she wrote with you guys, Home is Where the Heartbreak Is. Yeah. Um, but tell us a little bit about that experience, you know, writing with her and, and what that song means to you guys. Well, Liz Rose is one of our favorite songwriters mm -hmm. and humans on the planet. Yes. I have a, have a phrase in life is hashtag what would Liz Rose do <laughs> as a female in the business if we're ever in For like sure. a tough situation. I just think of Liz because she's so strong. Yes. But on a songwriting <laughs> level, we, we walked in just so excited to, you know, get to collaborate with her. And she... Mm -hmm threw that title at us and we were like what you're gonna like that's one of the best <laughs> titles I've ever heard I couldn't believe that she had saved it and that she hadn't written it with someone else right. so we felt super honored that she wanted to write it with us and what's really cool about it is that um, in that moment we were thinking about a friend one friend in particular that was going through a really tough marriage and, mm -hmm. and felt a little trapped in their own house and how that home really felt heartbreaking for them and so anyway we channeled that energy and wrote that song with Liz actually really pretty fast and it's one of our wow. favorites on the EP. Yeah that's incredible um, and it's so interesting you know because when she talked to us about that experience you know she said 
different titles can jump out at different people, you know, if, yeah. if it's connecting with them at a certain moment. So yeah. it's just amazing that that, you know, happened to connect with you guys. It's, it's funny because I think people just assume, oh, we're two happy couples, <laughs> throw a happy love song idea. But actually <laughs> we gravitate towards some heartbreak songs because sure. we have a lot of friends that are going through that. We've been through mm -hmm. that in our mm -hmm. life. And as Jason says, I don't know, <laughs> as Jason says, go. <laughs> no, I. That was interesting because I didn't know where she was going. But uh, yeah. I do think it. Even if you're not going through something sad in that moment, there's still something about sad songs that makes them mm -hmm. more appealing to listen to and to sing. Like I would rather sing the saddest song of all time right now than some really happy song. Sure. Even though I'm not sad. So I think people gravitate towards that. There, yeah, I think it's it's maybe the most powerful emotion just mm -hmm. because sure. you know it it hurts mm -hmm. and and just Definitely. wants to say something. <laughs> Uh, country music is a is a rare genre that really celebrates the heartbreak songs. Definitely. When you look at like the top 100 songs in the history of country music, there's a lot of heartbreakers up mm -hmm. there, and so I think we've we've landed in the right place for the sad for sure. music that we want to create. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, I just think it's you know people can relate to it. Um, so for people who haven't heard your music yet, how would you describe you know because obviously since you all come from different backgrounds this blend of style and genre how would you describe your music well as colby likes to say oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's all right i'll liking. take it um honestly we're we're four part harmony um everyone sings lead somewhere or another on the record and um we just love organic acoustic instruments so they're just filling up every song on the record we love the steel guitar and um i think that's our sound so i mean it's uh, it's a bunch of different yeah. styles mixed into one, but I think it's just our favorite is something that's real, organic, and acoustic, and a lot of harmonies. That's awesome. Well, I'm so glad that all of your stories brought you guys to Nashville together. <laughs> so um, where can people find your music? Your EP is out now. Yes, our EP is called Tides. There's four songs on it. Our uh, first single actually comes out tonight at midnight. Uh, it's called What Could Have Been. Oh, okay. And, Incredible. Um, so that's, and, and if you want to find us, just go to gonewestmusic.com and that'll, that's our website. It has our tour dates and all of our social media and everything. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for doing this. Yeah. Um, you guys go check out Gone West. And uh, thank thanks, you. guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. For more exclusive content from this year's CMA Fest, Go follow us on social media or go to pitchlesspodcast.com. See you next year. Bye. <laughs>